coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily And here is the setup now for the two-player game which we'll be playing today or we, the, as in me, and you watching me. Uh, we have the four scientists laid out here. So we have Joseph J. Thompson, Ernest Rutherford, Marie Curie, and Maria Mayer. So these are the four scientists we'll be doing. So Joseph T Thompson allows you to take one subatomic card from your draw pile, then shuffle it and, or discard, then shuffle it. So you can take it from your draw pile or your, or your discard pile. Uh, Ernest Rutherford, you can draw two cards or you can draw three cards and all the other players then get to draw one card. Uh, Marie Curie, you look at another player's hand and mimic any two of their subatomic cards. All other players may then discard one card and draw one new card. Now, nine energy, she's a expensive one as is Maria Mayer here. Maria Gopert Mayer. Uh, mimic then remove any two single subatomic cards or any one larger subatomic card from the face-up selection below the board. So the um, any one larger subatomic card. So these ones here, like orange and green. These are the two players, and I'll get started right away. Uh, orange player is going to take the first player. Now I was reading through the rules just to make sure, and, and, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't see any way that you could switch up the first player once the first player has been determined. So orange will be the first player for the whole game. Now there is a... I was a little surprised because usually second player and third player and fourth player may get some sort of energy bonus or something to help them out because they are losing on the opportunities to make those first choices in a round and without any way to change that. But there is a, a bonus for you know where you're placing your last cubes at the end. So. We'll, um, we'll see, we'll see what happens, how this goes. But as, as I could say, I couldn't see any way for this to switch players. So Orange will be the first player for the whole game. So in the first turn here, um, Orange player has down, up, 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 and a Photon. So with that then, sorry, uh, yeah, Photon. Uh, with that, oh, I have to put these out. So we have a Beryllium, a Lithium, and a Lithium. So a proton is up, up, down, and then they can put two cards face down for two energy. So they'll do that and they'll get one proton onto their board here. Let's get this carded. And shuffle these up. Two, three, four, five. And much the same actually. So but you know, maybe I'll do something a little different here. I'll do two green and one there, and I'll get the proton card into, I could add to the thing, and then two energy as well. I'm gonna do my best not to overthink this. That way I can just keep it very fluid. One, two, three, four, five. So the last five here, and these shift down. So that's two downs and an up. Don't have that. Uh, one, 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 and two. So how do we do that? One photon, one up, one down, and the two energy. There you go. So they're going to get that card. So let's go there. And with these two last two cards, they're actually just going to get the two energy back again. That goes to their discard, and then that will be shuffled up. One, two, three, four, five. Three downs and a photon. Three downs and a photon. Two pho well, the two photons can create an electron here, so we'll do that. And the three downs don't help me with anything, so I'll just maybe get three more energy. So for this one, they've got their up. Now remember this one can only be used 
for one of them. It doesn't have the oval around it, so I can choose it for any one of those things that I want. And so I think I think the idea is just to be getting as many of these as we can. So we have we have two down, two up, and four energy, which I don't have. Okay, so that's that's actually out of my out of my reach here. Um, Oh, that's not even ups and downs. I think I cheated on that last one. I needed no, no, those ups and downs, ups and downs there. Not, not to... okay. So we'll go the um, the two downs and up uh, for the, for that neutron here. And these two, I've got up and a down. I can use it for one of anything, but yeah, I'll just use it for two more energy again. Discarded. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, so down, down, a pro town, up and down. Okay, so these are coming down, so. the electron and then we'll go two down and then up for this neutron and then the proton we'll play the proton to put one proton on here and then an up quark for one more energy Two ups, two photons, and a down. So two photons will make one electron. And then the up, up, down can make a proton on here. So they've got two protons on the board there. Okay. Right there. So we have three photons and a down. down. Well the two photons can go to create another electron. So we've got two electrons going now. We've got two downs and a photon uh, which aren't going to help with anything on my board here or anything else on here so I'm just going to turn those into energy. One, two, three energy. So green player is absolutely swimming in energy right now. And then Three, four, five. Okay, so we have two photons and up, up, down. So the up, up, down can create more uh, protons. But I can do up, up, down and get a proton card here. So that, that way I'm so I discard. The two photons can create another electron. So that all works out to create everything. Gives me a card and another electron. So this is helping out. So we have three ups, a down, and a photon. So I'll do the two ups and the down to buy the proton here. That goes straight to the discard. And then the up and the down, up and the photon. Give me two more energy. So there's two more from here. So I've got two downs, a photon, and then up. Two photons and up. The two photons have already got the thing there. So I need I need more neutrons, protons. So I think I need to maybe start looking at buying these cards here. So let's do that. Um, let's see, two neutrons. Okay, so how do I buy neutrons on here? I need up and two downs. But up and two down, it's going to get me a neutron on the board here. So I'll put a neutron on the board here. And then the two photons will give me the electron, but I don't need that. Because I already got my two, so I'll just get two more energy. Three, four, five. And then we 
have two downs, two ups, no, two photons and an up. So I think looking here, yes, and like it says some neutrons there, so we'll do the two ups, two downs and the up will get me the neutron here. And then the two photons, I can only oh, electrons, so um, yeah, I think I'm just going to get two more. I've got tons of energy there, so maybe I should be considering buying um, the thing or even annihilating some of my cards. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay the two energy and then annihilate two of my cards. So two of the cards I had in here. Let's just get rid of one down, one up. Get those out of my deck and start uh, trying to make my deck a bit more resource uh, efficient. So we have a neutron, some downs, and an up. So we have two, just looking here, I don't have any, I have the two electrons. Uh, I've only got one neutron on here, and so I need some more neutrons. So maybe if I spend the two down and the up here, and then the one energy, and give me this one. Put the discard, this one discard. And then I have a neutron here, which I'll play that card to increase my neutrons here. And then I can take one energy back again. And this one, shuffle it up, shuffle it down. One, two, three, four, five. This is interesting because I have a proton and a neutron right away, and I have a proton and neutron there. So I've got one proton, one neutron, two, so two of each, with two photon and the two electrons. I'm getting close to being able to get one of these elements, but not quite yet. So maybe if I got something down here, so I need two, well, so two proton, two neutrons, and this is both. Yeah, let's do this one. This one's perfect. So two neutrons, two electron, two, uh, two protons, and four energy, which I have an abundance of. One, two, three, four energy, and um, one, one. So I just need one more of each. So those are gone from here. Those go to the discard with this nice new card now. That's really going to help. And then I have an up two photons so I think I'm going to turn those into three more energy one two three energy and one two two three four five we have three ups, a down, and a photon. Three ups, a down, and two photons. So let's move these down. So we've got two and two. So we can start to get some better stuff in here. But I think what we need to do, if we go up, up, down, get another proton, put some to three protons in here. It's the neutrons we really need. So let's do this. So those are spent. We'll spend, we'll buy this one here. So we'll use the two neutrons that we have on our atom here with two energy. We'll get us this card here. Oh, sorry, that was only one energy for here. Oh no, plus one additional energy. Sorry, that's, that's what that is. And then I'm getting two energy back for these two. Shuffle these down, that comes out. And then one, two, three, four, five. So I've got this one. So this one's nice. It's giving me two protons and two neutrons at the same time, plus the one neutrons. So that's three neutrons and two protons. And two photons aren't really helping right now. In fact, the photons are 
becoming a bit of a little bit annoying. Actually, what I can do maybe I buy this electron here with the photons, so that way I'm not wasting it, and then maybe maybe annihilate them later. Uh, okay, so let's see what I've got. So I, I'm, I would need. The problem is I don't have any the uh, the neutrons there. So, um, yeah, I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save those. So two protons, two so two protons and three neutrons. So let's put three neutrons and two protons in there, and we'll let's discard pile up here. Uh, the two photons and one, two, three energy. will give me the one electron and then the one quark will just give me one energy back again. Alright, that's just helped me to get set up for a future turn. And put that down, an electron, so I don't want to do four. choice of one of those things so I, have, I can have two protons uh, the things I'm lacking in is, is the, the neutrons I really need to get some more neutrons so this one here the neutrons is going to cost me two neutrons so I've got one neutron here and that doesn't help so let's see what I can use um, hmm. yeah I'm really stuck there so I think what I'm going to do is I will do the neutron. I'll spend that for a neutron. And I'll get a neutron on the board here. Um, I'll spend one proton there with one proton off my atom here to get this one with two energy. That comes there, that's in my discard. And I've got two photons and an up quark. And I think, what's it costing now? Three energy. I think I'll use the last three energy. And let's get, I'll just annihilate those two photons. They're, they're not helpful to me right now. Oh, no, you know what? They are going to be helpful because I, I haven't bought any electrons here. So uh, I'll take that back. And we'll stay there. All right, and we'll just uh, so that'll be two more energy then for discarding those photons. Move that down. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, electron down, down, and a proton and a photon. So down, down, photon isn't going to help me with anything. Um, down, down, uh, no, 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 no. So, I think, so down, down, electron, down, down, photon, three, but anything here is going to cost at least four. I've only got three here, and I have no way of getting any other proton neutrons right now, so I will, um, I think I'm just going to uh, spend the two here. So two neutrons takes me down to one with two energy. Buy this card, put my discard. And I'll do the same. Yes, yeah, so then I'll discard these last. Take one here for one here, put them to three. And then four energy. One, two, three, four energy. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have either two newtons or two energy. Remember that the oval, I can have one or the other. So that's like three newtons. That's four newtons with two. Fo uh, two protons. Okay, so I 
I'm, I'm just lacking in the, the protons that I need. So up, down, and a photon are of no use to me here. So those are just going to be three energy. One, two, three. And then take the three neutrons here, put them to four neutrons. Put those away. And one, two, three, four. Up, up, down. Okay, up, up, down. I can turn into another proton. Put it to four protons here. Then I have a proton, only one neutron, so I'm still lacking anything up there. So the proton here will be another proton. Put it to the full five protons. And electron is just going to turn into energy. Two, three, four, five. So we have down, down, up, up, and a neutron. So we need more neutrons on our. Well, actually, no, we don't. Now we need protons. So if we up, up, down, up, up, down will make us our our proton. So then I'll put me up to three protons here. So I have three protons, four neutrons, and two electrons. So that. 342, 342 can get me either of these lithiums. So either lithium is going to be worth uh, seven points. So I'm going to just take the first one here. And so that is the three and the four, so those are all gone. And that's everything. It's wiped that atom out completely. It's made the lithium element. So now can put two, so put two in there, so I'm getting, and getting this one for plus two points. And then the last two, a neutron, we'll put one neutron back on here, and then a down quark, uh, we'll just give me one more energy. So we have two downs and up. So the two downs and up, you know, we need to make more neutrons on this for the green player. So we'll put that into the neutrons. Two photons makes an electron, which we don't need, but we can use the two photons here to make an electron there with three energy. One, two, and three. One, two, three. So we will, that will come in handy later. Maybe annihilate those photons now. And that replaces with yet another electron. Let me just shuffle that up. So one. Two, three, four, five. So we have a neutron, a proton, and up, down, and photon. So those three are pretty useless to me now. Um, so yeah, those three are going to do nothing. So except give energy, so do that right away. One, two, three. Then a neutron and a proton is going to, only thing that can do is put them on the map here. Neutron and a proton. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. So we've got four four neutrons right there because we can have two protons, two neutrons together with the oval around it. Get both. Take the two neutrons. That's four neutrons, five neutrons, and three protons plus an extra photon. So that oops, this would come down here. So we have boron down now. So we have two, three, two there is five. So we have a total of five neutrons and like nine or eight protons. Um, so we will go 
We are just shy of the boron here. I think that we will, yeah, we're not gonna mess around with that. So we'll take the beryllium, take the beryllium, and that then costs four, four protons, which we'll take from here, taking us down to one. The five uh, neutrons, so that's two, three, and three here, so this goes down to, well, that was out two, so that goes to zero. So that was the five. And then that's five, four. So yeah, so we still have three protons. So this goes back up to four. And then the one photon can go to become energy. So the green player gets onto the beryllium space. And beryllium is gain for energy, is the there. One, two, three, four. Uh, one thing I've been forgetting about is the um, the scientists here. And green has like so much energy. Actually, so does orange now too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to spend nine energy. And I'll get Marie Curie. Uh, so look at another player's hand. And mimic any two of their subatomic cards. All of the players may discard one card and draw one new card. So that's going to be very helpful. Now that goes into the discard pile here. And now we go on to back to the orange player. So the orange player is going to take their turn. Um, So they get two okay well the, the photons are actually helpful here because they do need to get electrons again and actually what they're going to do is they're going to take a page from what the green player was doing they're going to pay the two photons here plus the three energy one two three and they're going to take this electron here and then two ups and a down get them another neutron so that puts them up to three neutrons there uh, two ups and a down. You know what? Might, might as well get that one too. So I'll put that neutron back here. Again, the proton there. Two ups and a down. Oh, two ups and a down would have got them the pr proton anyway. I don't think I'm just going to do that wrong. All right, so everything moves down. Oh, and do they want to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe they'll hold on to some of those and they will get. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They'll get Ernest Rutherford here. And we'll add him to the deck. Back to the green player. I'm going to shuffle up. Two, three, four, five. New element card comes down. Black boron. All right, so we have two protons. We have three protons. Lots of protons. It's our neutrons that we're lacking. So we have one neutron here. So we have three neutrons. But again, the neutrons are the, the seem to be the more important ones there. So we don't have the quarks to buy these, but we can maybe buy here. So we can use this and two energy, put this the discard, oh, this is down here now, this is the discard, we got that card, and well, hold on, I'm going to leave that one up here because we still have two protons, two protons and two more energy, by that one, okay, and that's, oh, and one more energy because it's there, so out of energy for a moment. And this one cost the two electrons. So the electrons are gone. So I'm going to spend the one this to put the ele one electron back onto here. And then proton and neutron, we'll just increase those by one. So we'll go up to five there and one there. And that's it. And then the last photon there will give me an energy back again. 
bunch of old discards. Come down. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so number of things I can do with this here. Uh, I think I'm want to try and go for the boron. Get the first boron here. So uh, I would take the three protons from these and go up to four here, and then up and down doesn't do any good. But the two neutrons here we'll go from two to four there. Um, you know what? Actually, I think I'll go one less and one more here because with this one I can take one of any. So I'd rather take the Oh, never mind. I'll stay there and I'll put one electron because I'm going to need some electrons. All right, that's that done. On to the green player. One, two, three, four, and five. So they've got a couple photons down, down. All right, so let's think about this. Let's do the two. Oh, we don't need the electron there anymore, but we've got an electron here. Um, so I can use the two downs. I don't have an up though. Uh, I can't get any of those. Okay, so I'm going to do the two neutrons here. Just plug them in here, so go up to three. Uh, two photons, two downs. So I think I'm going to pay the three. And I think I'm gonna get rid of one of each. So I'm destroying two of those, then getting two more energy. All right, so one, two. Two downs and up, and a couple neutrons. So two downs and an up. Two downs and an up. That can get me a neutron, putting me to five. And then I, for here, I need six neutrons. So there's five plus one is six neutrons. And I'm at three. Oh, I need one more proton. Oh, and one more electron too. So I'll have to put this. For, I'll put this one because I only get one of those. So I'll take that for the electron. So that'll be my second electron. Getting close to that um, boron though. So I've got two there. Three, four, five. All right. So we have Marie Curie protons, an electron, and a down quark. Alright, so the two protons, oh, put that in the wrong spot. Two, two protons go there, are discarded. And, oh, I can't, I can't use them like that. Okay, so Marie Curie, look at another player's hand and mimic any two of their subatomic cards. Okay, so there's only one other player, so they have to get their cards out here. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, so two subatomic cards, so I can't I can't choose that one. So I'm just gonna put those in like that. So I've got an electron down quark, so up down, up to so two downs and an up will give me a neutron. So the two downs, so using Marie Curie. I'm copying the down and the up to give me down, 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 up to give me another neutron, so I'm up to four. Then I've got two protons, electron, so which I can't use right now. But what if I, so I've got six and four. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm off for that. So maybe I'll get the lithium just to uh, get things moving here. So I'll get the lithium. So that's three. So that puts me down to two. And two electrons puts me down to zero. And four puts me down to zero. 
neutrons. And then I'll put two into there. And then I'll pull back up. So two back up to four and then back up to one electron. With those. Now the, this player can have them play the Marie, Marie, uh, Marie Curie card. I can um, get rid of one. So I think you know those are actually those are actually handy. So I can actually buy this card here. So I think I'm actually going to leave it. So coming to this player then, um, so they can they're going to play uh, Ernest Rutherford. So they can draw three cards, but then this player's going to be able to draw one card. So this is going to be mean. And we'll do two here. So we've got two more cards. So with the up, down, and the quark, I got that, and then two energy plus one energy, so three energy gets me that card. And then I've got uh, one proton, gets me the four, and then a down quark, up quark is going to be discarded for two energy. So now I'm at um, five, six, and two. Oh, I'm still still shy on the on the protons, but the uh, green player is not going to be able to catch up. So I'm still not worried. It's just taking a little longer than I would have liked. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, some ups and a down and a photon. Wow. This is like an old school hand now. Uh, up, down, and a photon, a couple energy, so I can get that one. Yeah, I can't even get these neutrons here. So, yeah, so two, so up, down, photon, and three energy, two plus one gets me that card here. And then two up quarks gets me two more energy. There goes one, two, three, four, five. Shut those down. There we go. So we'll do one proton to there. So I'm at maxed out, so six and five. Wipes those out completely with the two electrons. The, the boron was pricey, but we got it. So two into the boron, and the, this one says, uh, take one single subatomic card. So take one of the singles here. So we'll, we'll go with, um, you know, we'll go with the electron. Move that down. And then we've got two protons, an electron, and three neutrons. So two protons three neutrons and one electron. I'll back up again. That's a good hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so put those in. It's all boron. Now, all boron at this point of the game is fine. It's when the, um, oh, I've been ignoring the, the costs here. I'll remember that from now on, the, the additional energy costs at the top. So let's see what we can do here. So we have one electron will be put to make that a two. We have uh, four, we can have four there. Uh, well, three neutrons, let's move to three here. Three neutrons and a couple pro that we have put up there. So I'm using those to get the, the three neutrons and I'll only get one proton. And then the photon is, is going to be discarded for energy. And then, yeah, maybe I'll take two more energy from this one. Then, uh, so I've got three and five. So I, I need to max out here in order to get those. So I need more neutrons. Okay, up, up, photon, photon. Uh, the two photons aren't really helping to get me an electron, maybe. Um, yeah, 
this is this is not a good hand at all. Uh, I am considering putting the two up. Oh, we'll put the two. No. Hmm. Putting those two for two energy. I think this is here. We're gonna spend three energy to get rid of the two up quarks. And then this one will give me, uh, let's say one more proton. Okay. And two. Four, five. Stop here. Okay, there we go. So I got four, four neutrons. Push me up to six. I'm up to full. So I'll spend all that to get this boron with three more energy. So I guess that one, three, uh, three energy. Uh, sorry. Two cubes go on to the, the boron, and then two protons from here, and the down quark will just go for some energy. So, um, so, boron, boron, boron again. So we need the full sets. So we'll take one electron, one proton, one neutron, and then we will use him, uh, Ernest Rutherford, to draw three cards. One, two, three. Game so up, down, and a photon. That that's not much good. And so this player is going to get to draw a bonus card. One, two, three, four, five. On top of that, because they got a bonus there, so they have six now. So these though can buy one of these for three energy. Just doesn't have three energy. That's unfortunate. So use these for three more energy. And the green player. So aside from the energy costs, I was just quickly reviewing some of the rules. Uh, a couple other things I've been doing wrong. One is the um, when you buy an element, any leftover things in your atom are wiped out. You, you take all of your things and they all go back to the starting points. So I'll remember that moving forward. And um, I've also been forgetting just the, the actions you can do with the energy. So you can be wiping out these rows to get new things, or you can spend two energy to draw a new card, to draw another card if you wish. So again, things I'll be looking at moving forward. Uh, hopefully that doesn't uh, spoil too much of this uh, playthrough for you. So my apologies for those errors and I'll aim to do better moving forward. So I'm looking at my things here. So I got an electron, two electrons, a couple ups, two protons and a photon. So with the two protons, I'll just lock those away into the atom here. The two electrons will likewise charge me up here. And then the up, up and a photon aren't going to do anything for me anywhere. So I will um, yeah, they're not going to do anything anywhere. So I was just going to spend the three there to go one, two, three there. And then one, two, three, four, five for the orange player. And two neutrons, proton. Okay, so they've got a, a variety of things happening here. So electrons are already full. And so boron is the only thing they can go for. They've got the energy, so they just need to max out, which they can do. So they have the two here, push them up to six. They have the one here push them up one and then they will buy the boron for three 
energy, one, two, three energy. And that wipes them out. They, they can then put one electron and one back again. So one electron, one proton. We'll go with a neutron. And then they can use the last photon for one more energy again. One, two, three, four, five. So we have Marie Curie and Photon up, down. Wow, this is a terrible hand. I need to. Okay, look at those. So let's, let's, first off, let's look what the other player has. One, two, three, four, five. So down, down, up, two protons and a neutron. So, so maybe I can copy the. So I've got a down and an up. So I'll do now I, I think I want to build up my neutrons. So two downs and an up. So if I go that one and that one. So I copy their down and their neutron. They're down and their neutron. So down gives me down, down, up. Gives me one neutron. Then copy the neutron gives me a second neutron. Then I can use this wild one for a third neutron. And that was Marie Curie used. So they all go into the discard. And the photon can give me an energy. Now this player is allowed to discard one of their cards, and I think what they will do. Um, I think they're actually pretty happy because the down, down, up. I mean, the, the combination works for them, so they will keep that. And orange player's turn. Okay, I'm uh, going to shuffle these up. I feel like all the bore on her. Stuck in one place, I haven't seen any healing yet either. You know what, to be fair, I'll have be able to go shuffle well. There we go, the helium. So the down, down, up gives them the, the uh, neutron. It's up to two neutrons. It goes in the discard. And then they have two protons and one more neutron. So they're building up. And two. Curie again. This could be handy. So if they have one, two, I want to shuffle away find what their, their hand is going to be. Three, four, five. Okay, so put this up like that. So Marie Curie is getting used. So we are going to want so two protons, two neutrons. So that can put me up to five there. And two neutrons puts me from two to four. Uh, one more neutron puts me up to five. Oh, I need, oh, helium is quite easy, actually. And helium will be the last one I need. So that's going to give me the, 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 the elemental set as well. So I will go one more, uh, well, hold on, maybe I'll, so if I do the two there, I only need two, two, and two. So let's back up a step here. So we'll, so that hasn't been claimed yet. And so nothing that has been claimed. We'll, we'll start off, we'll do this. So we'll pull all those aside. And it's gonna cost five energy, one, two, three, four, five get the helium so we get to helium gaining this one that says gain three subatomic particles and also into the elemental set 
So drawing three cards. So one, two, three. And so that was just with what I had there. So now uh, it's all boron, so it's gonna be tough. So I'll do three neuron, neutrons and two protons. Three neutrons and two protons. Um, I have one electron. And down up does me no good. The proton, the photon maybe. Okay, so then I can go one here and I'll take one more neutron. And then Marie Curie will use this to take uh, one more neutron. Okay, and then these three with three energy can get me this wild card. So those move down. Oh, and I can take one subatomic particle. So I will take, I will take, um, take the proton. And I was actually able to draw three more cards. One, two, three. So that's uh, two more neutrons, one more proton. Puts me to there. And then the last card will just be for energy. Uh, so this player is able to discard one because I played the Marie Curie card. So they discard that one, redraw him back up, and get another down quark. Uh, but the two down, we don't have the up. So those two are just going to be energy. And then we have, uh, let's see, one proton for sure, one neutron for sure. So that goes from three to four, it goes from two to three and then we'll use this one for um oh this will come down a lithium uh we'll go for one electron so those are done and then they'll spend the five energy here for some lithium so they have two borons and two lithiums so those go into, into the lithium and then one, two, three, four, five. The this player takes two two protons to there, the one electron to there, and with that then can buy oh no, cannot. Yes. Uh, use this for three energy. by the boron, that'll trigger game end as they put those into the boron. And then this player can put two of their cubes into one of the spaces. And um, I guess it doesn't really matter where they go because um, the spaces that they're at, they're already controlling that one. And they come here, it's not going to, oh no, it'll tie this one, it'll make this one tied. All right, and that's it. So now let's get into final scoring. So I'm looking at this now, what this game is lacking is a some sort of counter to help track your score as you're doing it. So the green player is obviously winning the helium here because they're the only one. They're tied here, so both players uh, take the lower one. So they're going to be uh, two points per card, green skin for those cards. And then tying here, so they're taking the lower. So they're each getting one point for those cards and then one for each set. Sorry, two for each set. So for every, uh, let's just look at first straight up points. So the green player, you, you count the, uh, the mass, the mass number here. 
So the green player has nine points, 20 points, 24, 35, 42. So 42 in cards. Uh, for every helium card, gets four more points. So four points for this helium card here. So we're at uh, 45, 20, 27, 38, 42, sorry, 46 for the helium, two points for every lithium card, so 48, three points for every beryllium card, 51, one point for every boron card, 52, and for the sets, they have one set, so that's 54. Total of 54 points for the green player. And then the orange player has 18, 29, 36 points in cards. 36 points, two points for every lithium card. And they have two, so that's 40. And one point for every boron card, so that's 42. So 54 to 42 for the green player. And that is um, subatomic. Uh, guys, I know I made a few mistakes there during the game, but um, this gives you a better sense now of how the game is played anyway. Uh, just <laughs> learn from those mistakes that I made. And uh, if you've noticed anything else in there, please let me know. And I will you know, do my best to make sure I do better in the future. But uh, overall, like I said, ni nice, neat little game, deck building, and you know, just teach a lot of different things about these, these different elements of the subatomic particles and the scientists who are involved in their discoveries and things. I just think it's a wonderful game, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And that's going to wrap it up for today's playthrough. Until next time, I'm Craig Thompson Wood, your host on Teaching with Board Game Sing. Thanks for coming to the classroom. Are you coming back to school with